What is up YouTube? It is DM Pulse here. Got my new mic all set up and ready to go. Um mainly because my desktop mic that was built in was complete shit and my webcam mic died on me for some reason, so I got me a brand new blue yeti. Black Friday deal, only eighty-four dollars versus normal hundred and twenty came with a stand and a spit guard, so that was a pretty cool deal. Um so let's get started on the project. <clears throat> So the employee data form part one, first what you're going to want to do is have it labeled employee data form and you're going to want to have a filter. I'm sorry I did not put the filter on there. The filter is going to be on your SFD save file which if you don't know how to add that it is in toolbar. And then you can go down and you can find save file dialog. Since you are not opening a dialog you do not need an open dialog form but if you decide you want it to open to view employee information like that by all means add an open one, same preference, you need to have a filter. I will have that below linked in the description. Uh, basically that's just the entire code for it. You need, not code but the filter because you have to have .txt for text file. So you're going to want to have four, seven text boxes in a combo box. Do not put anything in here yet, you're going to put it in inside the code so it's a lot more efficient. And I have these labeled as text first, mid, last, Phone number, oh no, sorry, that was EMP number for employee. Phone extension and email address, as well as department, which the abbreviation for combo box is CBO. I just did combo box department, but um, you can change it if you want. <coughs> save record is going to be BTN save, BTN clear, and of course, BTN exit. So we are going to get into the the form now. So once you get in there, what you're going to want to do is make sure you have system uh, import system.io before public class. <clears throat> you can change your form name if you want. You're going to need to define all of these. So your file name for your file, boolean is changed as boolean will be false, and then all your text boxes will be set as whatever short name you want as string minus employee number and extension is integer for those on numbers. Um, the phone number could be put as integer actually but if you're using dashes and everything or um, parentheses for the area code then you will need to put string. <clears throat> so let's get started. For the um, combo box you want to double click right here anywhere and you want to add combo box department dot items dot add and you're going to want to add accounting administration marketing and MIS and sales <clears throat> sorry for clearing my throat I'm a little sick right now <coughs> then you're going to want to put sub because this is a another subject and clear document this is going to clear everything automatically by default when you open it boolean is changing to be false by default and your file name will be string empty because it's an empty file name now this is for saving your document to save all of this information. Um, basically what you want to do is dim output file a stream writer, mainly because you're writing a file, uh, a, a try statement, and then what you're going to want to do is output file equals file.createATtext file name. That is the name of the file and each one of these are going to be different lines so output dot file right line and in parentheses whichever text box um, right here combo department dot text that's basically saying whichever one of your combo box selections you have will be the one set automatically into your save file so I'm going to open the project right now and show you guys so that one would be marketing and MIS um, whichever one you click is what it would be automatically set up as you're going to need to put a catch in there, so if there's an error creating the file, message show error creating the file. Your save as button, which is going to be saving it to an actual document. This is your save part, but then this is going to be making it the actual file. So if file name equals string empty, then there's going to be two if statements in here. So if sfd save file, which is what I renamed the save dialog to. <coughs> If you're using a 4.5.2 framework, you will need to use system.windowsforms.dialogresult.ok. If you're using a different version, you can just put windows.forms, or if it tells you it's wrong, put system.windows. Use the correction. And then file name equals sfd save file dot file name, save document, 
what this basically is right here is this is telling you okay this is gonna be the file name of it and this is going to be saving what's up here and if that's the end of that first, the middle of statement else um, if it already has the same file name or if you already have something with the same name it'll override it so save document with the same thing your simple clear button is just telling everything to be nothing and I set my combo box department dot selections to be accounting just the first tab in there make it quick and easy and then for the bottom uh, btn exit the button exit button me dot close so we are going to run this project and show you guys how it works so first name dm of course middle name none you can leave it blank it'll just be a blank line last name Pulse, employee number, um, 666, nobody hate on me for that, uh, we're sales since we're modder, and then 1-800 for some other buttons, extension 621, and the email will be YouTube, sorry I dropped my phone, YouTube at YouTube.com and you would hit save record and it would give you a little dialog box where to save it um, so we're going to enable it as just on the on the desktop actually we'll put it in uh, put it in documents don't matter where it's just easier to get to there documents and it came up right here so it's everything I put So DM non pulse 666 sales 800 number 621 extension and then the email. So when you're writing these into lines, what a lot of people don't know is how to set them up. Um, <clears throat> to put it in the exact same order I did, however you have your text boxes ordered is however you want to do it. And when you do that, you want to have your text boxes in specific order, otherwise it's not going to work for you. You're not going to be able to save them properly so make sure you are saving things in order on here and that they're all written in the same line otherwise you will get an issue when you go to save it and the instructor would look at you and be like um you did something wrong here so quick little thing you guys can fix in there if you do make the mistake any questions guys let me know leave a like and a sub and remember i'm always posting visual basic videos i'm always making them not always posting them i usually get bored and never end up finalizing them but this one i will finalize because this one seems to be a very popular project um and also remember i'm not releasing the code for my final project mainly because of people copying things and plagiarisms and stuff i don't want something to happen with someone so if you guys do need help with it i will let you guys know like what you can do to change something, I can help you, I can send you bits of code, but I can't send you the entire code. Um, any questions guys, let me know and I'll get back to you with a new video. Thanks!